Hello there, today we're at Park St Paul, about an hour from Park Asterix. There's six roller coasters here, including Wood Express, a Gravity Group family wooden roller coaster. I'm going to have to move because lots of people want pictures with a mascot, but I had to introduce the video up here. So today, we have the same crew as we did at Park Asterix, and I'm going to start by introducing Stephen again. Are you excited? Yes. Speechless. It's different, isn't it? It is different. But it's not a park asterisk, let's be honest, but we weren't expecting that and it was never going to be Disneyland Paris. But there's creds here and that is why we're here. Oh, definitely. And, and the main draw really is Wood Express, which oh. is, like I say, the Gravity Group wooden roller coaster. What are you expecting from that then? I expect it to be good. I do like a Gravity Group, so uh, yeah. we'll see how it goes. You are a Gravity Group fan. I am, yeah. Yeah, so all aboard the Wood Express when we get round to it. Seems to be a lot of... Uh, flat rides and you know, we got in the park nice and quickly. It does look more like a family park than a frill park, but we're here for the creds. Let's bring Andy in. There he is. What are you thinking? Are you excited? Uh, <laughs> we'll wait and see. So this roller coaster of the day is not going to be Wood Express because we have Mark with us. So he's leading us towards Minnie Mouse cartoon. It's even smaller than a wacky worm by the looks of it, but Cred to cred, so we are going to do it, I think, if they let us on. <laughs> Smile, Mark. <laughs> the question is, does this actually count as a cred? It's dubious. So when we're not filming vlogs, this is what Mark does in his spare time. He comes and does roller coasters like this. <laughs> no, no pictures. <laughs> Can you give everybody an explanation why we have just been on that attraction, please? <laughs> Before it gets a big queue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's rather busy, so... All of France are going to be flooding to it shortly. Exactly. Oh, look know, out. And you know what? Rory McElroy though. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying? And, no matter how you look at it, two tatties, one credit. Mini cartoon, also one credit. Doesn't matter. No, it's a fair point. It's a fair point, isn't it? They all count. They're all a plus one. Yeah, exactly. Even the Grand National, the that's suit. a plus one. So yeah, fair point. Next coaster, then I guess. Next coaster. And we are doing Dino Splash. We have to do the log flume while we're here. Okay. Let's go. Next up then is Wood Express, the Gravity Group wooden roller coaster, opened in 2018. It's actually the only other roller coaster open at the minute. We were probably going to do this last, actually but uh, everything else is closed at the minute, so go and give this a go, do it a few times maybe, hopefully, if it's good, and uh, then get the rest of the creds later. Run. Good that. <laughs> there we go. Round two on Wood Express. This time at the back row.
is a lot better. We've done two laps on Wood Express, one at the front, one at the back. I'll start getting a review off the Gravity Group fanboy. Stephen, what did you think? Very good coaster. Yeah. Front row coaster, that one. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, lots of airtime at the front. I found the back didn't offer quite as much airtime, but it was a lot more of the, uh, the rattly that we know and love with uh, these coasters. So. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It was a bit bumpy at the back, but not quite mind blower or Zeus bumpy. But yeah, it was all right. Um, bit of airtime. Just, yeah, that's it. Airtime. Good family coaster. Why can't we have one of these in the UK in our smaller parks and parks like this, you know, places like Pleasurewood Hills? The ideal. But no, we won't ever get one of them. But, uh, that's decent, isn't it? It is. Uh, I was just thinking then, so obviously, it, it does remind me a lot of um, Kentucky Fire. Yeah. It's better at the front. It's yeah. better at the front. It pushes out a little bit more over the hills. I sometimes wonder though whether the Timberliner suit the smaller sizes. Yeah, definitely. Rather than the taller coasters that seem to like, don't seem to agree with the Timberliners themselves, but overall, great coaster. Don't worry, it would be ideal. Southport. Yes, new cyclone. How good would that be? It's only three billion euros. Yeah. So if you get something like that and down at the front on uh, a pleasure, uh, uh, pleasure land, yeah, it'd be all right. But it's uh, honestly, I've enjoyed coming here just for this. Yeah. This is the reason why I came to this park, and you know what? It is a great coaster. Let's be honest. If this wasn't here, we wouldn't have been here. No. Not a chance. Exactly. So that is the draw, and that's why these parks in Europe. Are building rides like this because it appeals to more than just their locals so yeah good att good attraction glad I've finally done it and on to some of the more questionable creds now <laughs> there we go the spinning coaster. Ooh. There we go. Nice gentle start. Not sure that's going to last. Still a bit gentle. Good. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna get started now. <laughs> Severe lack of spinning on the spinning coaster. I don't think it would have been as bad if it spun. Next up is going to be Wild Train, which looks interesting. Uh, Pax Company coaster. It has two different track styles. As you uh, are going round, it starts with what looks like sort of classic Vacoma family coaster kind of track, and then changes to what looks like Pinfari track halfway around. Um, so yeah, this one could be quite interesting. Sounds like Takedo Express. Oh, 
What did you think then of the wild train? It wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I was a bit <laughs> dubious that we'd get on the lift, I'll be honest with you, but after that, it's a family ride, isn't it? But like, the first drop was all right as well. I didn't mind that. They didn't really do a lot, but you know what? Just nice to have a few attractions in the place. I'll give anyone a tip that's coming to Park St. Paul, don't sit at the back. Um, it's a bit brutal, especially those quick snappy transitions which are profiled about as well as the local roads which are also not very good. It's, yeah, a one and done. I think that's the best way to describe it. Just Let's just sit on Wood Express, eh? Yeah, all right. Let, yeah. Let's just do that. Uh, there's still two creds to do. Yeah, a wacky worm. Oh, for goodness sake. And what else? I can't remember what Or the Vacoma as well. Yeah. The junior Vacoma coaster. So two, two creds to go on a log flume. See where the rest of the day takes us. And we're off. for families unfortunately the last credit is not open so that's actually two coasters that are not open here um, still got quite a few on the coast account which they all they all add up in the end we've had a laugh getting them uh, in terms of the rest of this park there's things like a slide like depth charge at Fort Park pirate ship dodgems play areas for kids there's a haunted house attraction that Mark's going to do if it's open. There's a log flume. I don't know if there's rapids, I've not seen any. It's just a bit of a strange park in a way that it's so big. It's probably bigger than Blackpool Pleasure Beach in terms of ground space, but rides are just spread out so far apart with so little in between. It's almost like your local park in your town that's got loads of trees, loads of walkways, and someone won the lottery and put some rides in. That's the kind of feel it has to it. Well, the other way I describe it is like when you're on Planet Coaster, when you've got a scenario in the challenges, and it's like this park, you're going to take over this part of all these rides, and it needs a bit of a lift. And that's what it feels like. There's lots of families here, lots for them to do. It's worth doing if you are going to uh, Park Asterix. It's worth coming and getting the creds. But it is a, a strange feeling park. I think that's the best way to describe it so far. Here we go, Dino Splash. Been peer pressured into this.
whatever happens from here, I've got a wet backside. We're not breaking off this thing, mate. Hey. We are going to get soaked. I could just tell. Here we go. Oh, I'm glad we've got lots of clothes in the car because we're going to need them. I am soaked. The water doesn't taste very good either. Should have kept my mouth shut. Authentic dinosaur theming. Got a Poundland Jurassic Park feel to it. I'm going to get wet again. Sound effects brought to you by Stephen. That lift hill noise is giving me roller coaster tycoon vibes. This is where things go horribly wrong for the uh, how dry my clothes are, I think. Oh, stoppage. This is an opportunity to reflect on what's about to happen. There we go. Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> we didn't laugh, we'd cry. That's all I'm gonna say. Cheers, mate. You're welcome. If you've uh, made it this far through the vlog, please give us a like on this video. It will really cheer me up when I see that because right now I am soaked and very cold. If by any off chance you're watching Mike, can you start coming on these trips again, please? Because I'm fed up of being at the front on log flumes. That's two days running, I've got absolutely soaked on water rides. It's just, today is not the weather for it. It is quite chilly and it's raining and me and Stephen are soaked and Stephen's really upset with me now because he doesn't like water rides anyway. Hey, we couldn't encourage Andy to go on it today. I think he should have come on it and sat at the front light, but yeah, we're gonna do the uh, dino disco now which is not a cred but we don't do these very often so we'll get it done now Dino Disco time It's not a cred Not having it I've not printed any of these No
we've had a go on Dino Disco. Uh, every time I do one of those Zampella discos, it kind of reminds me why I don't do them very often. They're not the most exciting. They're all right, good family attraction, but not the greatest. Now we're going to do the Nebulizer, another Zampella. Something that a lot of parks are building these days, but they are fun to watch, fun to ride. So we're going to go and do that one, and uh, don't think there'll be much of a queue for it, so we're going to go and do it now. And we're off. We're picking up some speed. It doesn't go upside down, okay. An observation tower that yeah. spins. To be fair, it's better than I thought it was going to be. I expected worse. thoughts on Park St Paul? Good little park. Yep. Definitely pop in if you're passing by. Yep. Not a full day. No. Probably for fill seekers, half a day max. Yeah, I agree. If you have like all the family, then you might be able to make a day of it. Yeah. But like definitely. for us guys, it's definitely like a half day park. But I've enjoyed it, it's been fun. Feels like a parking transition, doesn't it? It's like the trying out lane. Like, yeah. Like, go for the fill market a bit. At the moment, they've kind of done a little bit of everything. Yeah. The master of none. Yeah, no, but, I like, completely agree. Apart from this Wood Express is really good. But yeah. There's nothing really else for the fill seekers like, out there for me anyway. No, no, I agree. Um, and the drop tower is closed today as well. Yeah. So um, that would have been the other yeah. thing that I probably would have gone on. But yeah. It's still been a good day. It feels like they're trying. So obviously, you've got yeah. Wood Express, you've got the Tampurla. Nebula, you've got the, the disco. I don't know how new they are, but they look they look newer than everything else that's around it. So I think yeah. it's definitely a part that's in transition. And uh, now Mark's here, so we'll get his final thoughts on the day as well. Any final thoughts on Park St. Paul, mate? I've probably stopped off with one of those wood expresses. One of the reasons I wanted to come. Yeah. Brought me to this park. You, you know what? If you come into Park Asterix with two tires and you're driving, stop off, yep. have a fun couple of hours riding Wood Express and either two, two tires all on the way back, you know yeah. what I mean? 
it's, it's definitely a part that's probably heading in a, a different direction to what they did previously with the areas. It's, they built Wood Express and then it feels like they're expanding it further. Yeah, I uh, agree. Uh, further that way. So it wasn't overly expensive, it was like 20, 20 euros. So like I say, if you're coming to Titanus and you're driving, or even if you you know, if you're flying in and driving yeah. in a car or whatever, just it's only like 30 minutes up the road, so well worth a visit really for a couple of hours. Totally agree. So we're gonna leave it there. Uh, thanks to the park for having us here. They did give us a couple of tickets, so thank you for that. And uh, that's all from us today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me getting soaked on log flumes, definitely give it a thumbs up and I'll keep doing it for some really weird reason. But Mike, we need you back for the log flumes, please, don't we? Indeed. <laughs> but many thanks for watching and we will see you next time.